Throughout the city of Havana, the legacy of the 18th and 19th century is visible today. The city was booming at that time with shipbuilding and trade becoming the most important city in the Caribbean. But hurricanes were a menace to the prosperity of the island. The great storms of the era sank whole fleets of ships and killed tens of thousands of people. But then new technology intervened and the new science of meteorology led to a solution. By 1870, the telegraph and the railroad were well established in Cuba and that laid the foundation for the development of hurricane forecasting science and it happened right here at the College of Belen with the arrival of a Jesuit priest, Father Benito Vigna. Then, as now, the College of Belen sat on high ground in the heart of Havana. Vigna set up an observatory here to collect and analyze data of unusual tides and cloud movements sent in from his observers across the country. And so, Father Benito Vignas of Havana was the first person in our hemisphere to forecast that a hurricane was going to hit. Historian Luis Enrique Ramos has studied the life and the groundbreaking work of Father Vignas. He considered that his mission is to protect the human life against the hurricanes and the forces of the nation. And before anybody else, he was able to do it. Here's his forecast of a tropical storm from October of 1879. Incredibly, he says it will go west of Havana and not be too strong. We couldn't do much better today. Soon, the miraculous forecasts were reported in the newspaper, here from 1882. And in Cuba, a legend and a legacy were born. The people in general uh, no understand the process of the forecast. But time after time, the confidence was increasing about the, the forecast of the Father Venus. It really was amazing what Venus was able to do, and imagine what the people here thought 140 years ago. There was no satellite, no radio, and suddenly there were hurricane forecasts. Venus died in 1893, but his work lived on and provides the foundation for hurricane science in Cuba today, as well as in the U.S. In Havana, Cuba, I'm Brian Norcross, The Weather Channel.